After their swell, these four-month-old youngsters rush off to explore. Being omnivorous makes you curious. Pigs never stop nosing around. As greedy as ever, they search for anything they can possibly eat. They go looking for something to round off their meal in the dry paddy fields. Pigs constantly adapt to their environment, and this improves their cognitive abilities. In fact, their brains are larger in comparison to those of herbivores, who always eat the same type of food. In the paddy field, the piglets spot a muddy puddle and wallow to their heart's content. Not to get themselves dirty, but to protect their skin from the sun's harmful rays. They're ready to continue their search for food and now show how ingenious they are at finding proteins. Crabs live in these ditches. The pigs of Laos literally binge on them. Their powerful jaws crush the crab's shells. This incessant foraging for food also improves pigs' memories. They have excellent spatial intelligence. For instance, they can find their way home at the end of the day. But that isn't all. They also have a memory for time. These piglets know exactly when supper time is. If their owner forgets, they squeal to remind him. The Laotians use a special call to attract their pigs, too. The animals recognize their master's voice. They also learn how to behave differently towards different people. These bananas aren't for them, but they know the grandmother has a soft spot for them. And they're right. She gives them the rice left over from lunch. <laughs> over time, they form a close bond with people. In fact, for the Laotians, these rather rough taps on the neck are a sign of affection. Pigs enjoy contact with us and with each other. They spontaneously groom members of the group they like. But this peaceful existence is short-lived. This piglet is now fat enough to leave home.
for the villagers. It's like a savings account or a piggy bank. Its sale at market will bring in fresh money. And that's the origin of domestication, raising animals for food or as professional assistants, as is the case in France too. In the shadow of Marais sur Belle Castle in the Perigord, a vault is home to a sow called Chippy, who is only allowed out to accomplish her mission. Bon, eh bien alors, si Madame veut bien se donner la peine. Every afternoon in winter. Her master goes with her to clients. The owners of chalky terrain planted with oaks or hazelnut trees. Chippy, Ali. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Hey, oh. A few centimeters below the surface grows a fungus worth its weight in gold. It's invisible to the naked eye, but Chippy can locate it from a distance. Her vital weapon is her snout. A point of contact with the world, it has more nerve endings than any other part of her body. Like all pigs, Chippy roots the ground instinctively but her master chose her when she was small because she especially enjoys hunting for truffles. Oh, elle est jolie celle-là. Chippy, allez. Allez. Cherche, allez, cherche, allez. 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 He spent the past year teaching allez. her to walk straight along these avenues to check the foot of every tree. Allez, tu vas te dépêcher un peu. Non mais. Despite Chippy's training, whenever she finds a truffle, she's tempted to eat it. But her owner is attentive. He pushes her away with a cavadou. Yella. Yella. This traditional tool does not hurt her snout. In exchange, the sow gets a reward. Because unlike a dog, she would never give up her truffle to please her master. Hey. As she's always hungry, she happily works all day. A dog would get bored sooner. Although she weighs a bulky 200 kilos, Chippy is her master's best friend. To her snout's tough cartilage, Chippy can even dig the ground in winter when it's cold and hard. Ali. Ali. Which is good because black truffles are ripe in December and January. And to let everyone know, they produce a perfect copy of the pheromone released by male boars during mating season. The fungus has co-evolved with pigs, so they can distribute its spores. And this is why all truffle pigs are females. They dig up what they think is a rutting boar. The sow sometimes damages a few truffles. But she still finds 1,300 grams of truffles in just two hours. A remarkable performance. Pig's ability to adapt is in their DNA, 